Yo, what's going on, my people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Sai TV. We are live for the Mandem Talk. You know what I'm saying? To you. We're back, man. I know we had a little bit of a, I wouldn't call it emergency, but we had a little bit of a link up on Saturday. Was it even Saturday evening or what day it was, man? But it was, yeah, it was Saturday night. Early 3 a.m. Yeah, Saturday night, man. It was crazy. For those that watched it, make sure you check it out, man. But we're here, people. You know what I mean? Man, them talk rants. What are you saying, bro? Get everything all blessed? Yeah, blessed, blessed. Big up the man, them as usual. You know what it is. Oh, man. You already know what it is, man. Tyrone, you know what I mean? Welcome back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. It's been a minute. You know but what? I told people you haven't left the Mandem talk. You just you just took a little bit of a brief thing to come. You know what I mean? Family and life gets involved, but we're here. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder yeah. what fence you're sitting on. So, yes, you got to test it. Big up the Mandem talk. All the Mandem inside have been holding the show together. I've been seeing all the clips going around. I've been seeing everything. But, um, yeah, man, obviously, I'm not even going to lie about it. My nan passed away. Then I changed my job. So the last few weeks, I'm not even going to lie, I've been mad. And anyone that does YouTube, anyone that does anything, you know, sometimes you've got to take a bit of time for yourself. So mm. we're back now. Um, big up everyone that's been supporting the show. We're here to have the good vibes again. Obviously, I'm not going to lie. I went in the back of the van like people might have thought. I'm here, man. I'm still driving it just. But yeah, now big up everyone. Like the video, subscribe. And um, yeah, shout out all my brothers inside. It's good to see everyone's faces again. I love it, man. The energy's wicked, man. So yeah, big up. Come on, man. Come on. Lured in, man. What are you telling me, man? I think we're going to have conversations today. You know what I mean? Today's going to be... <laughs> this is your element now. You know what I mean? Because we've got a lot to talk about with injuries and whatnot. But yeah, man. How are you doing, Lured in, man? I feel all good? Yeah, yeah. Doing good. Yeah, big up. Sorry for your loss, King. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, big up, man. Yeah, big up everyone in the comments man. as well, man. Yeah, love. Yeah, man. Come take on, man. time grief as well. Man. Grief hits you in different ways. So, yeah, take time. Yeah, love to everyone, Stop man. There. You know what I mean? People need to understand what you just described. It's called self caring, in it? So, when you can yeah, and take up. time. But yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm good. I, I can't stay too long. I've got to go and do my activism, you know, my daily job. You know how it is. Yeah. I've got to go and run and do that. But yeah, happy to come here for an hour and a bit, at least to chop it up with you, man. Then big up to all the kings. Big up to all the people tuning in as well, man. Yeah, the weather is what it is, isn't it? Great, just like Manchester United, bro. <laughs> Trust me. Trust like, yeah. me. Yeah, Facts, man. Rhino, man. Everything all blessed, man. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just getting on with it, man. Obviously, um, condolences. Rest in peace, Nanny Ty. You know. Yeah, big up, big um, up, big up the chat as always, man. Listen, man. Another disaster class, but we're gonna talk about it. Big up the man, them. You know, big up the chat. Make sure you like smashing the likes. Mm -hmm. Man, we here, Real. man. Man, them talk, man. Let's go, man. Come on, man. Big up my Leon's in the back as well. Big up Leon as always. Come on, you already know. Yeah, man, big up. I always say I'm blessed to be here, man, I'm doing this with you, man. I mean that Thanks. as well. So listen, um, Ty, we all know we, we all live separate lives in that, but you know that it's always a safe space in our group chat if man wanna chat in it, so it's there. And yeah, it, man. Big up the man them. I'm a bit pissed, you know, because there was like Michelin star chef cooking going on on Saturday and I missed it, bro. I had to dip off to work, innit? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I'm watching it back and I'm seeing yeah. my quote in the Quran and shit. I'm thinking, what's going on here? Do you know what I mean? Bro, but yeah, man, big up the man, man, man. And I'm sure there's going to be uh, some funny bits today as well. But yeah, big up. Yeah, man. For real, for real. Listen, people, Neji, he said 50-50. So hopefully he should come on. Obviously, traps and them, man. You know what it is, man. They'll, they'll arrive when they arrive. So big up to everyone who's locked in. But yeah, man, we need to talk about Ten Hag and his injuries, man, because I want to get to the bottom of it. You know what I mean? I want to I wanna get where you, man, are going from and what you guys think of it because he's come out in a press conference, yeah, and he's chatted a load of waffle. Absolute waffle, yeah. Oh, and say, wait, have you got out. any quotes? You can get up. I haven't seen anything. Yeah, same. Yeah, I've not seen man, anything. I'll tell you right now, man. Mm. He said here, why ten hours asked why so many Man United muscle injuries are occurring? He goes, we have an idea. We will work on it internally. We will deal with it. And then I think he carries on to say something about, um, you see it now with Leicher, so you have to avoid. So you want to avoid, and we have to do this carefully. The first objective is to keep him fit. We need, we want to use him so that he can benefit and contribute to the team like he did on Saturday when he had a big impact. Broski, why are you lying? He had no impact, bro. He actually <laughs> was, was, was at fault for the goal because he let Tony get past him too easily. So mm. this guy's lying again, bro. You know what I'm trying to say? So I, I don't know, man. I just look at it from my point of view, yeah. 
um, is that man is talking about internally. I think he needs to look himself internally and realize what is he doing with his players, bro? Because something is going on, something is happening that is going on in training that is just causing these guys to have muscle injuries, and it's not good enough, man. Them. It really isn't, man. And why is it always the politician answers? Why is it always the scripted politician answers? There's nothing, there's no but personality. It's peak, it's peak. There's, there's, yeah, there's not even a sprinkle of personality in it. It's mad. Or even like, I don't even know, my man's mad. Yeah, but the thing is, these come out, yeah, man. like, we've seen reports that the players have complained about the intensity, yeah, and also, they've also complained about just his style in management in general. Like, like, there's something that he's not doing right there and he's doubling down on it and bro look at it the priest in the pudding in it like all these men getting injured and stuff like that and it's unnecessary bro it's the muscle injuries that is the problem muscle injuries occur from fatigue bro like that's that's how they occur like do you know what i'm saying you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that because if it's impact injuries fair enough Lissandro's had a few impact injuries with his knee and stuff like that. But most of the time, these men are pulling hamstrings, pulling calves and pulling groins and all that because they're overdoing it, bro. That's just what it is. If you're playing a game every three days, you don't need to be training at any intensity. That's what pre-season's for. Facts. You know what, yeah? Rant, rant is bang on, yeah, because Musk... Is there an echo? I think it's Musa. Oh, yeah, it's Musa, yeah. Yeah, man, let me, let me, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, it, do you know what it is for me, yeah? I look at the best coaches in the world at the moment, yeah? I'm looking at the Jurgen Klopps. I'm looking at Pep Guardiola. And if anyone remembers, when Jurgen Klopp first come to Liverpool, yeah? Liverpool had so many muscular injuries when he first come because the intensity he brought from Dortmund over to England, I'm not going to lie, the Liverpool players, I think they had Brendan Rodgers or Kenny Dalglish, whoever it was, they weren't used to it. And Klopp said, yo, look, these players are going to suffer for the first season and fans have just got to accept it and hold it, but they'll adapt to it and also I'll adapt to them. And since that first season, Jurgen Klopp's had a lot of players like Van Dijk, the Stallers and stuff, the main players, Sadio Mane's, regularly fit and they were able yeah. to win the title, challenge for Champions League and so forth, right? Eric Ten Hag, for me, has had a, a big problem since last season because there's a couple examples, yeah, where people say, yeah, we didn't have a lot of injuries. Last year, we played um, Reading, I think it was, in or someone like that in the League Cup. Oh. Yeah. And yeah. he could have rotated, right? And I understand Eric Ten Hag was like, look, I want to get rhythm in the squad. I want to get top four and this and that. But he didn't rotate. And a couple men, I think, like Ericsson and that got injured. And it's like, yo, look, you got to trust your squad at the end of the day that you can bring players in and you can rotate, man. He didn't do that. And we had a backfire of a few injuries last year. Now, this year... Eric Ten Hag should have learned from where Jurgen Klopp, Pep Guardiola have. When you want to challenge for titles or challenge for even cup competitions, use your squad, rotate. And he hasn't learned from that. So for me, he's got to, now, I've got to be honest with you, he's got to take accountability. And that's what I don't think he's really doing. He's saying he knows what it is. We, you know, we've got to change. You're not changing nothing because the same problems are happening every time. What, you think if I cheat on my girl and I'm going to say, yeah, but I, like, I made a mistake. I was just drunk in the club. Then what, a month later, I'm drunk in the club again. But I, it was the wrong time. <laughs> Like, I can't uh -huh. do that. Now, do you know what I mean, though? At the end of the day, take accountability. And for me, Eric Ten Hag has to do that. And you look at Klopp, you look at Pep DC already. When we've been playing these games, yeah, midweek, Premier League, or whatever it is, a Champions League midweek, when, when he talks in their press conferences, a lot of them have said, have you done a lot of training in between the games, yeah? And I actually remember Pop, Pep and Klopp have come out this season and said, we haven't done too much, actually. We've just done a, quite a bit of recovery work and just let the players rest and recover so they're fully available right. for the, the games. At the end of the day, if these players are coached. They know their roles. When is it most important in that 90 minutes? I don't care what you're doing on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because if you're a good coach and you're a good squad of players, you know what you're doing come that weekend. And that's where Pep and Klopp have mastered it so far. Doing well in Europa League, Champions Leagues, in the league, competing. Arteta is doing well with his squad at the moment as well. You need to take accountability and adapt. And I don't think that Eric Ten Hag has done that. And one thing I think he's suffering with, yeah, is that because the results haven't gone our way this season and performances haven't been great, he's now he's now trying to complement it by, like, overdoing it in training, trying to work too hard. Then come time, the game time is, the players are done. So for me, yep. accountability, and he's got to find balance and look at other managers around him and what they've done. And, and we're suffering. And I... And I I don't know if I see him change it. That's the ultimate question. I'm looking no. at it now and I'm the like... The sample size is too big. Yeah, I don't know if in Ten, yeah. Ten Hag's going to ch change that. Well, that's that what Conte it. done at Spurs as well. He thought running these men yeah, into yeah. the pool yeah. was going to make them win football matches because they were losing. And all mm. that happened was more injuries. And then he yeah, got yeah, sacked. Yeah, they started dying and dying and dying. Yeah. yeah. 
like, you've got to look at the medical team as well because it's like we got the new guy in from Arsenal, cheat like the, 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 the head of medical Bro, from Arsenal. Arsenal Donald, he's come in, right? Flipping yeah, up. he's come in, and like at the end of the day, I know Ten Hag's playing these players, right? But also, obviously, Mart- Martinez weren't going to come on on Saturday, but he had no choice oh. but to. But also, mm-hmm. the medical staff are clearing him to be part of the squad. Now, if you're part of the squad and part of the bench, if you're needed to be called up on, that means you're ready to go. So these yeah. medical team need to be looked at as well. And I know, yeah, from a couple inside man, that when that guy was at Arsenal, Declan, Mr. Rice, had a little had a little ruckus with him at the start. So I know that that guy, you, you know, as in, in like, terms of, I think, like, Rice, Rice, had a, Rice had a little knock towards the start of the season when he first started. Mm-hmm. Maybe missed a couple of games. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah and yeah, the guy, yeah, the yeah, guy, well, basically, I heard that the guy was trying to, like, Rush him back a bit, basically. And Rice was like, I'm not feeling too great. So, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to say too much, but when you hear stuff like that, like, why I'm not going to make that up. Do you know what I'm saying? That's a dumb thing. I'm a big man. I don't need to make that up. No, no, no. You know, that like, makes sense, bro. I know how football makes works. Sense, the funny man. thing I mean, is, yeah. The funny thing is, flip, man. footballers know their body better than anyone else, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, whether, like, I've spoken to ballers and they've told me certain things. And also, it's also a situation where even the other day, Patrice Everett was talking about Van Persie as well when, when he came to Man United. Yeah. And Fergie said, listen, I know you man are animals and you get onto people, but this brother's not training every day, innit? Just so Back. you know. You're like, he's not game time. Yeah. yeah, he said he's not mm. training. He's not training every day. So you man mm. are not going to get onto him and make sure you pass him the ball and then we won the league, blood. That's what happened. Do you know what I mean? And Vieira done the same thing at Crystal Palace because I know a few men there. And when he, the first thing he did as a coach, he came and he just said, my office is open. If any of you lot got special requirements for training, let me know. Because yeah. he knows that every player can't train at the same intensity all week. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Players are managing things, bro. Loads of players are managing niggles. They're playing within themselves, bro. Like, no football is 100% fit for the whole season. Never. It's impossible. Most of these men are playing with niggles every week. Every Most week, bro. You know what makes it worse? Week. Sorry, man. You know what makes it worse as well? Yeah, it's like when you're when you're overriding a player's decision, like you're talking about players knowing their body and stuff. Yeah, it makes not only the fans but the the players lose um, confidence in the manager because you're not yeah. even listening to me. Like, why would a player turn mm-hmm. around to you and say, "I'm going to make this injury up because I don't want to play"? You have to play because your football career is short. You have to mm-hmm. play in it. Like, you want to reach the heights. Like. These guys that come through to this level, they want to reach as high as they possibly can in it. So it's just, I don't know, man, this manager's and what Tyrone was saying about, he comes out and tells us what the problem is, but he never goes anything like two steps towards a solution. He just like <laughs> highlight, he just repeats what we say. It's like injury. He just says he injuries. knows what it is. Yeah, and then we know what it is. It's like, bro, we need a bit Wait. like, what's going on here? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, what are you saying, Nuridin? Yeah, big up, man. Listen, I've been on this for a long, long time. Those of you who know, know. I said it, Manchester United can't chase four trophies with 14 players. Mm. Man playing Moldovan team and he's putting out the first team out here at Old Trafford. Man <laughs> playing the team from <laughs> uh, Cyprus, he's putting the full team out here. Me and Sati both was in the stadium watching Charlton. Man's putting a full strength team. That's the last season we had um, full strength. Yeah, bro. So, l- l- last season we had most of our, actually two of the domestic cups we had all of them home draws. If you remember last season, mm. yeah, 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 everyone was a home draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. everyone. And Every we one kept of them. going to the home games, and we kept we kept seeing what was happening. It was ludicrous. It was ludicrous yep. what we were seeing. And I called it in January. I said it, and people are like, "What? What are you talking about?" I said, "I saw it the season before with Liverpool. Liverpool went took everything. Last mm. the four trophies to the last last seconds. Champions League final, two domestic finals, the league to the last day." What happened the season after? You're going to yep, pay for they it. Struggled. They struggled. They struggled. And that's why they're in the Europa League this season. So at the end of the day, like, if you've watched football, if you've played football, you can see it. Talk about what Rance was talking about before. Um, the fact that when David Moyes came in, one of the, what did he do? The first things that he got rid of, he got rid of, <laughs> he got rid of um, people like Van Persie, people like Vidic, People like Rio, who had a back problem, who was managing it. They all had their individual yep. training patterns. You know what I mean? Training schedules, mm. programs. He got rid of it all. It's like, no, everybody's together. Because mm. he doesn't have a clue. Like, mm. these people know, human beings, you know about your body more than any doctor would know. That's why yep. you get second consultation. 
third consultation if you need to, if something's happening. You don't just trust one opinion of a professional. You go and get the relevant. And Manchester United Medical Department, like I've, I've always told people, you know, Manchester United is rotten as a football club. Most of the departments, I've been on here talking about it, telling people this for a long time. They don't invest enough investment in each of these departments. Our injury and rehab team, our medical department, they're not being invested in it. They've not been investing in it. And you guys know, even if some of you guys into boxing or UFC or whatever, nowadays, I got amateurs ball, you know, from around my way who I got that on lock. They, they, they hire a nutritionist. They hire an injury prevention person who does a specific kind of work with them to prevent them from getting injuries, having mm. impact. I, you, know, you know how much I, I did a sports degree? Sports science now is like, what he would have gone through like 30 years has gone through it in a decade. Yeah. Mm. Right. Mm. So there are, there's no secrets anymore. There is no, thing. everybody knows and understands and knows how to pattern up. And if you don't invest in it, if you don't get the right people there, for me, that's what I'm talking So everybody's saying, get in Ten Hag out. No, medical people need to go. The injury rehab team needs to go. I, the... feel like, I feel like a lot of it comes down to Ten Hag. Mm. I think 75% of this situation is down to Ten Hag. I really do, well, guys. Because it... The injuries, the training, yes, because the players have complained. But our medical staff here, yeah, every anyone that knows anything no, about... That? If anyone knows about med anything medical, yeah, like, bro, the, like, these guys need to keep upskilling themselves, bro. And the problem with Man United is, yeah, Man United have got this family club nonsense where everyone's been there for 20 years. Oh, fuck them off, bro. You need to have the best people. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. You need to have the best know. people, bro. There's innovations in, in sports and all these things all the time, bro. And you need to be having the best people for the job at all times. You don't just keep someone in the job because they've been there 15 years. Do you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, especially if they haven't upskilled themselves in 15 years. They're still using the same things to treat players that they were using 10 years ago. Like, what are you saying? They've got the old shorts on. You know them old brothers with the old shorts and the socks up and on the training Yeah, ground. bro, like, it's weird, bro. Like, you need to get the best guys, bro. We need to be yeah. getting the best, best guys, class. the most skilled guys. The most accomplished guys for the job. Forget this. Oh, he's been here for seven, eight years and that, bro. There's clearly a problem. Go get the best people to, to sort it out. Let me say, say this. Yeah, let me just add to this. The, the Actually, the, the call was coming from inside the club. Not me on YouTube. Not me ranting on Twitter. But yeah. what did Savage say? Savage went on loan. I think to oh, Reading, yeah, Reading. Or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. Said, That's because fact. Reading's training complex is a lot better than Manchester United. What did Ronaldo say? Oh, mm. since I left, nothing has changed. Mm -hmm. Come on now. So I mean, so even though Manchester's not that big, we know people who work for the club. We know right. we talk to them. Like, these people are telling us nothing because of the lack of investment. The yep. lack of investment. Yep. And it's not just that the family thing. It's just that you stay in your lane, do your job, keep your head down. This is what we are. So you've got that. Then you've got Eric and Hag. Even though philosophically, like, it's... it's in terms of like strategy, I understand you want to run them, try to get them to be more physical, but you're not doing that because they're not enjoying the football. The players are not. They're not enjoying teams. it. All but what intensity do we show? No, really. Let me can I say something. You, what intensity do we show apart from thirty minutes here and there? Like this I idea don't. of what we 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 want to shape us to be this pressing machine, and we're bro. We show it for about thirty minutes and they get gassed. You know what I mean? So end of the day, <laughs> yeah. you rather. You know what? Be safe and just say, right, we're going to press what we need to. You know what I mean? That's what Jose Mourinho did. He just mm. still, you know, okay, we press now, but then we go back into our into our low block. Like, just, you know what, as well? Then. No, 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 no. Remember, we were there, Oli. Remember Oli against Liverpool? Remember Oli against yeah, yeah, Liverpool? Yeah, yeah. He yeah, was yeah. like, you know what? He played the, the two wing backs. He played Juan Basaka and I think Luke Shaw or somebody else as the wing back. We played with like three. We went and pressed them up the pitch. And then within, what, 25 minutes in that, in, in one half, was it Lingard pulled up, Martial pulled up, Rashford? Yeah, yeah, up, Herrera. Played, Herrera yeah, yeah. pulled up. So if your body's not conditioned to this thing, but that is what you're meant to use the preseason for. But yeah, in the preseason, no. you go to the US, which is like a continent, and you're flying from one coast to coast. Like, how mm, are you yeah, putting yeah. them in them? How are you putting the you have to have the mileage in them? But I won't mind that side. I wouldn't, I would take the hit if he did this last season. He's done it the wrong way around. Yeah. He's choosing yeah, to I do know. it the wrong way around. Last season, majority of us would have won. You know what? We accept it. And this season, we would have benefited from it. Now, all the stuff that he wanted to do last season, he's doing it now. And I'm afraid the football is horrendous. 
He's making mm -hmm. all sorts of kind of excuses. And now players that are calling him out because you burnt them to death. And I was screaming for it. And everybody was calling me negative for saying burnout. It's not just a physical, it was a mental mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Mental fatigue that gets into yeah, 100%. You. So At the end of the day, Eric Ten Hag, the chickens have come home to roost, man. The chickens have yeah. come home to roost. They're mm. not cooked at Old Trafford, as we know. Chickens are not cooked, in it. Their chicken is giving people. Hundred percent. And do you know what yeah. Nuridin? Yeah. Do you know what you're bang on? Yeah, because. I even said, I don't know, it was with Saeed, I don't know if it was an Amandim talk or our own show, but when you touch on that pre-season, we went to America and we didn't even really like stay in one spot. We were flying from San Diego to Miami to Seattle and we had the most games out of all the other teams in the pre-season. I think Man City played like five. We had like eight or nine and we were playing a lot of games. So when you're thinking about it, you're combining travelling with trying to get the intensity of your plan, which you're saying like he's trying to incorporate in his second season. So everything was a bit like a car crash because... The players are not having time to recover. They're not really having time to then put performances on the pitch. And I even think when it got to our pre-season games, a lot of the players weren't even getting 90 minutes for a long time. We were changing it 45 no, yeah, it in 60. Then it got to like the last games where we went to Atletico Madrid and played them. Martial got injured and then so forth. And yeah. it was just, you know, the wheels started falling off. And it's like even the, the preparation of not planning correctly is... It stung us, it stung us this season. So you I agree. Tyron, can I just add to what you're saying, mid what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, of course. And, of course, and of course. even when we got the chance to play, didn't implement like a consistent style or thing in it. Like mm. There's too much chopping and changing. So the players must have been confused when they started pre-season. But yeah, carry on, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I was just saying, and I, and I just think, I just think again, that's naivety of a manager that, you know, you've got someone like Pep, and I hate comparing to the, the elite, but even though they're rivals, I've got to look at it, and I'm a football fan first. Pep said, yo, I know this season's going to be tough, we've just won the treble, we're going to play five pre-season games, and we're going to come in fresh, ready for the season. Ten Hag literally had them, like, travelling across the whole of America, running them into the ground early, and then they've come into the Premier League season, I'll be honest with you. That game against Liverpool summed it up for me because obviously I went on a man them talk since then. And I was, I was, of course, as a football fan, I'm gassed by the performance. I'm thinking, yeah, look at the energy we showed. We come back into the game twice. We look good in extra time. But all in my head, I was saying to my brethren, this is off adrenaline just because it's Liverpool. Mm. Let me see if we can follow it up. And then what happens against Brentford? We go oh, completely the yeah. opposite. And that was when I was like, shit, I'm on man them talk this week. Sorry about my language. But I was like, this is... This is the typical highs and lows of Man United. You play off adrenaline, one game, gas everyone up, and then against Brentford, we're looking like a League Two outfit. 80, yep. 87, 88 shots, um, um, sorry, 88 touches in the box they had. Yeah, a second crazy. highest in the yeah, Prem ever. Crazy. Like, yeah, yeah, the, 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 the complete opposite to the trajectory, just, yeah, man, it's, it's just there. But but I, can say, yeah. some, I was going to say, Nuridin's got to get some flowers for this, though, because you've got to think what he was saying last season. He was saying that, why are we trying to do four competitions? So this burnout's been coming for... Probably since the beginning. But you could have rotated though. You know yeah, what you do? Four, four competitions, competitions with like 14, 15 without players, no rotation. And then dragged without us through no a pre-season. And now he's running us. It's just burnout, 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 burnout for two years. So yep. it, was his choice to use, it was his choice to use that small squad as well. So exactly. this is all his own making. These problems, runs is just not it's there. not like we don't have the players, bro. We have one of the biggest squads in the league, and we always do. Do you know what I'm saying? So uh, like, we had players like Donny, and that wasn't even in a match day. Yeah, he didn't even get a chance. Like, he wasn't even no. in the match day squad. We had such a big squad that there were players that weren't even in the match day squad. So it's not like we didn't yeah. have the players to rotate. He just says that he prefers to not do that. But if you prefer to use 14 players, yeah, and you're not going to use the youth team players, then you can't compete on four fronts. It's impossible. Mm. Mm. You know, you know mm. what's bad, though? Uh, uh, big up to traps in the building. You know what's bad? Yeah? There's two K people in the building. Make sure you lot smash a like button, people. Yeah. So, 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 how do we, how do we solve the situation with Lissandro? Obviously, me and Raz had a, a bit of a, a back and forth on that for a while. Yeah. And listen, Raz is a bit like yeah, Mr. Structure Man. These guys they always get things right in the end. Yeah. But my things with Lissandro, yeah, I'm just gutted in it because I feel like he's been an important player for my United, and now. I can't lie to you. I don't know whether to start him next season, bro. If I want to want to build around him next season, because I just feel like these injuries are getting too, too much. But my thing is the intensity of the training that, that got his calf injury. I just, I'm finding it baffling, bro. Like it feels like it's a different injury all the time. He went abroad to Argentina. He's come back. And you know what the maddest thing is, yeah? Hindsight's a wonderful thing, yeah? But the manager, should he have used Lissandro in that point where he thought, right, I've got, I've got Thursday, I've got Chelsea, and I've got Liverpool as well. Would it be right to use him now, or should I just play Quambala 
against a physical Ivan Tony. Would have probably suited him better, Kwambala against Ivan Tony, rather than Lissandro Martinez. And then he rushed him back in. And then he's obviously had training. And now he's injured again. And I just, you know what, man? I'm just, I don't know what you might have said, but obviously I've not heard from a lot I'm of people. I'm not that good. You know hey, bro, why, bro? why did he put on the Sandro? Why did he put on the Sandro? Yeah, that's where Harry, that's that's where Harry like, Maguire came on for Varane. So we yeah. didn't have to put Lissandro on. That was a substitution. On, yeah. we I'm going to defend it. I'm not I'm not trying to defend him. The only reason I think, nil-nil, and our build-up on our football was crap. And we know how important us, man, know how important better, Martinez... Though. Yeah, but we That's know how important Martinez is in terms of Taylor. Martinez right. passing through the lines, trying to get us forward. I actually think in terms of the football we play, when Martinez is on the pitch, it's it's better. And the football we saw on I Saturday agree. was crap. So that's the only defence I think Ten Hag was like, we're nil-nil. I want to get a goal. Top four is hanging in the balance. If we get Martinez, maybe we get further up the pitch, pass through the lines more. And, and, and that's why I think Martinez comes on. If we're two, three nil up, he probably brings on Kambuala and just says, yo, let's just settle it down, just get through the game and then we move on. But I think he wanted more injection on, in, in, in the football phase. He did this with Luke Shaw, though. He did this with Luke Shaw. Mm. Listen, this is why, for me, us fans are emotional. We're always going to say, bring God, don't bring on Lissandro, don't bring on Lissandro. And then if you'd brought Kwambala on, it would have made sense because, like I said to you, it's impacted probably an injury that's led on to the training. I don't know, but that's where he's got you know to make the right decisions as a manager. Yeah. For me, yeah, I just feel like the jury's still out for Martinez and I feel like it's time to have that uncomfortable conversation. Yes, we can put some of the blame bro, on relax, the relax, medical relax. staff. What do you mean by no, what do you mean real? by I know, you, you know. know. What do you no, mean? Listen, kind of, listen. Please. Specify what you mean because I don't want Bruv, it to be about this. I want you to specify what you yeah, mean. Yeah, I'm going, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. The plane's landing, the, the passengers are anxious, but I'm landing, don't worry. <laughs> so, look, yeah, at the end of the day, yeah, with Martinez, we, he could be the Premier League might be too intense for him. Maybe there's that as well. Like, maybe he's injury prone. I know he didn't have that history before. And yes, we're going to put some partial blame to the terrible medical staff that we do have at Manchester United. But I just feel like maybe Martinez is just not, he's one of those guys. And he's one of my favorite players. He's been, he's been a breath of fresh air for us. And, you know, the way he plays out from the back, we rely on him in our build-up play. The little build-up play we do have. Maybe he's injury prone, guys. Maybe Martinez is not it. Maybe the not give him what, like, he, he was good last season, right now, yeah. And obviously this year yeah, he's been, yeah. been injured. He would you not give him would you not give him the benefit of the doubt and say, like, look, let's see next season? Because for me, this is how I stand mm. on it, yeah. We've got the FA. I'll be honest with you, I don't care about the Chelsea game tomorrow, technically, really. The league's done. Top four's yeah, yeah. done. FA Cup game is what I care about against Coventry. And if we get to the final, hopefully Martinez is back for that. Put him in his pillow, rest him up, and have him back for the FA Cup. And then next year, we go again. And then I think it's fair to say, right, you've had a rested preseason, you're fully recharged now, and then we go again. I think it might be a bit premature to say uncomfortable Same. conversation in this, Andrew. That's what I think in it. I think you have to question it, though, because at the end of the day, yeah. Yeah, like, what do you want? Like, We're trying to evolve as a club. We can't be holding sentimentally onto certain players. We have to yeah. question people who are not available or who are not delivering to the standard. I like him. But at the end of the day, yeah. if you turn around to me in the summer and you say, look, I can get three quarters of the money that I've made, that are, somebody's offering three quarters of the money and we can get somebody else who's less injury prone. I don't have any loyalty to anybody. What, three quarters of the money for what we got Martinez? You'd sell him? Bro, if I can find someone who's more, who's more, less oh, injury that's prone. Wild, and still this bring is wild, bro. The thing is, yeah, look. we got Maguire and Lindelof and Evans, man. Bro, when he plays me, good, but, me. But, but we can't be, the fans have been moaning all season about like, Slate and Martial about his injury and stuff, yeah, and Slate and Luke Shaw, whatever, yeah, and that. And obviously Luke Shaw's always injured, but Martinez has missed a lot of the season and it's hurt us, isn't it? Like, mm. there's, no, there's no point being around if you're not available. So I'm not saying get rid of him now, Tyrone. Mm. What I'm questioning is, I'm saying, we've got to keep an eye on him this summer and we can't just look at his position and say, left centre-backs no, 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 no. That's where we can, the Jared Brantwicks we're linked to, the Todibos we're linked to, the Inacios we're linked we to. At the really. end of the day, we need two centre-backs and that's why if Martinez is I not there, three. you know, or three, we've got the quality and depth to then say, look, Martinez is not there, but us men are not anxious because we know we've got Johnny Evans or Victor Lindelof coming on. That's where this should be to the board now, Ineos and the rest of them. Look, this is where we need the added quality. This is where we need the depth. So, for me, I'm not saying it's an omen or a blessing because we don't know if any of us are going to put money in their pocket, but we know we need two centre-backs. If anything, this, uh, this strengthens our case. Can I just say, yeah. can I just say something? Right? So, I think his injury was mismanaged, just like Pog was. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. In the day. that's true. I definitely his think that was mismanaged. Well, yeah. Malassia, there's, the, there's a pattern here, boys. There's a pattern here. It's simple. Mismanagement, misdiagnosis, 
they go and have operations and they're having breakdowns. Like it's ludicrous. And then and then the guy, the, the brethren is then is allowed to go and fly to Argentina. Remember what Arsenal game? He breaks down. We get mm. him. Oh yeah, you could go and fly and party, you know, in Buenos Aires. And then this time again, do you, do you understand why though? Do you understand why though? Though. No, 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 you understand I'm why? Not nah, I'm not understanding that. Nah, I'm not understanding that. All right, can I explain? I told you he shouldn't have gone on international duty. Yeah, why not? Let me land, let me land, let me land. 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 Can I explain why? And let me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove to your point then. I'm saying there's probably a justification as to why he wants to go to Argentina because he do not want to be sat in this training camp here that's regimented to the core where you've got to be doing so much running and so much energy. That's why he wants to go to Argentina. He wants to chill out. And do rondos. That's what he wants to do. So that's why I'm saying. Yeah, but Sai, didn't he play though. on the Ten Hag before, though? <laughs> didn't he have the same regime on the Ten Hag before, no? Previously. Bro. So he should be used to homeboy. Though. Yeah, but it's different over there in, in, in Ajax, bro. Like, come on, man. You're not, you're not mm. preparing for Brentford every week or whoever. You're preparing yeah. for like, a few games that are that. intense. You're not, every game in the Premier League is intense. So it's changed his mentality. Listen, can I give a context? Yeah, like, listen, this is the difference between. Like, Italy, as a player, you own owned by the football club, bro. Any time, the results, whether the results are good or results are bad, they can call in to have a training camp. Mm. If you're injured, you're going nowhere, mate. You ain't flying nowhere. You ain't mm. going ever to see this, to see that. You ain't going nowhere, mate. Your responsibility, the money you're getting paid, everything is measured. What the food intake, your dehydration, they do all sorts of tests. You ain't going nowhere. So at the end of the day... It hurts me, man. It hurts me, man. When I see in the that building, man. Are allowed to go and do what they want. And that's what Ralph Raniak said. You need to put a discipline on this club, man. Players mm -hmm. can't. I don't care who you are. Listen, I love Martinez. He's my captain, isn't it? When I go, I'm, I'm a passion merchant, good football merchant, physicality merchant, and that guy gives me everything, right? He gives all those things that all the elements that I want to watch when I go and watch football. He has it. He's a United player, but I'm afraid. Is mismanagement of the club, and, mm. and they. I bring up Pogba. Most people forget Pogba was on the Ollie. Pogba got injured against Arsenal. He was playing in the cup against Rochester. Remember when that kid, 16 year old, scored the goal, went to school the next mm. day? Remember? Mm. That there, he was injured. What happened? Pogba then had to go and get second or third because the club misdiagnosed him. So yeah. at the end of the day, the same thing with Malassia, same thing. I don't trust this football club. I don't trust the people, the medic. I don't trust them. Mm. They need to be changed. I've been yeah. saying. For a long, long time. It's the Those same thing as well. Like, you look at Newcastle and you look at Botman. Same thing happened with him, what, the other day? About a month ago, didn't have his Achilles surgery. He said, now nah, I'm going to play on a month later. And now he's done it. Six, nine months. So, like, you've got clubs like Newcastle. You've got Chelsea. You've got other... I know Man United are on a bad stage, but you've got a lot of other clubs that are silently undergoing their own problems. And a lot of people and their fans are not happy about it at all. And I don't know why these players are not having their surgeries or not recovering properly. Is it pressure from the club? Is it pressure from the manager? It seems to be an ongoing thing across football that the injuries right now are, are crazy in Europe, right? It's, it's like, when did it, when did it games, start? Bro. Did it start up last well. season? Did it play when against, did this injury start? This injuries issue. When did it start from the whole World Cup last season? Yeah, issue? yeah, it started, man. And well, it's from off, I think about it. It's from off, after COVID, bro. Like, mm. that's when that's when it would have been happening. These men, the whole football calendar got messed up, bro. The whole football calendar. And then we've had a, um, a mid-season World Cup like, these men yeah. are playing their games, bro. Like, mm. like, no, I got yours. About? Like, I see something. I think it was, um, I think it was Pedri because he played in the Olympics. Brother played like 70 odd games or something. Yeah, like, Saka, like, Saka runs 84 in a row. And now look at the problems he's getting. It seems to be like he hasn't been fully, fully fit all season, basically. He's just been managing it. So, yeah, it's a problem, man. Big up Aaron as well. We say, bro, larger fire, man. It Big takes a Aaron. good manager as well to, to be aware of what players like stop a player from playing as well and to manage them as well. Do you know what I'm saying? And I think our manager at any opportunity we've seen just wants to play players. He's not self-aware enough of like the long term. He treats them like robots. This yeah, has been happening like, with yeah. Ollie as well. Mm. Leon, Leon sure. remember Ollie, Ollie's go, these players are not, these players have to be robust. And then you look yeah. at Rashford. Rashford's Rashford playing with broken bones. Yeah, his back was busted, yeah. Rio was never the same and Martial came out and said... And Martial as well, yeah. yeah. And Martial yeah. said, Oli ruined You know what, Nuri, no, no, you'd expect, you'd expect Tenog to be a better calibre of person than Oli, obviously, from what we looked at before we come in. So I would have expected more from him to manage that. Unfortunately, he's not, bro. Exactly. He's, like, he's, so he's worse. Captain. 
yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's worse, man. He's worse. He's awful, yeah. Sorry, Aaron, you do too, man. Yeah, Aaron, what no, are you no, saying? No, no, no. about his injuries, Alessandro? Yeah, me? yeah. Big, big up, big up, everyone on the panel, man. It's good to see you all. Um, condolences to Ty, my guy. Condolences yeah, to you, man. man. Yeah, um, no, shout out to everyone in the chat as well. I couldn't believe it, man, when I saw the the. I didn't see. I didn't actually see the. Um, What's it called? I didn't see the report from the journalist. I actually saw the official tweet from the club. So when I saw that, I was like, what? This has to be like a joke or something. And everybody confirmed it. And I saw you, man, do a stream on it. Everybody was talking about it. Bro, I can't believe it, man. I was pissed off. I can't lie. I was pissed off because that obviously confirmed that he was rushed back. He wasn't ready. Um, now he's up for a month. What is it? I, I swear it's like a minor injury, which you shouldn't be out for a month for or something. I don't calf know what. Strain or something. Yeah, calf strain. And I swear you don't. You're not out for a month if it's a calf strain. Um, so unless I'm wrong, but I don't know. But yeah, it's it's just it's frustrating, man. It's really frustrating because as much as I don't trust this team to get anything done, like, bro, we need our best players on the pitch, bro. Because what Lindelof's out as well. So what are we gonna? What who are we gonna play tomorrow against Chelsea? So now, so now we're forced, we're going to be forced to play uh, oh, Evans Johnny Mbappe. Evans, oh. even though in a one-off game, I can count on him because on the mm. ball, his reading of the, of the game is really good. Mm. But do you really trust someone like a Johnny Evans to play six, seven games in a row? No, you don't. No, no, no. But he wasn't he, brought in for that. He wasn't exactly. brought in for that. But I he trust wasn't, he wasn't. Evans. I, I trust Johnny well, Evans in a one-off game, bro. He ain't let us down once, bro. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Exactly. You know, yeah. He ain't been a bad signing. He ain't been a bad signing. It could, it could even be Varane and Maguire. Um, because when Maguire we... injured. Yeah. Mm. Nah, Varane and Maguire should play. Probably might be Varane and Maguire yeah, then, yeah. 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 yeah, because when we when we needed Johnny Evans to perform in a one-off game, and I think the first one that comes to my head is the Burnley game, man pinged it to Bruno Fernandes perfectly into his feet and he scored. Yeah. Mm. Do you see what I mean? Like, yeah, one-off real. games like that, you can trust him. But... Four or five games on a, on in, on the bounce? Nah, yeah. you can, we can't do that, man. So it's really unnecessary, man. But again, the medical staff, what on earth is going on there, bro? Who gives the green light to Ten Hag to say, yo, this man's ready, ready to come back on the pitch? And how do we know what conversations are being had between the coaching staff and the medical staff and the player, by the way? Because I know all three of them have to be together to assess the injury and to go, all right, cool, you got the green light, you can go now. Like, what tests are being done? Like, what machines are you guys using? Like, I'm questioning everything now. Aaron, I told oh, like Saeed that. about this doctor from, from Arsenal. Before even we were linked to him, I said, we're in trouble. We're in yeah. trouble, mate. Dude, I, I, swear we got the, I swear we got the Arsenal doctor now. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, that's Gary, what got, yeah, yeah, yeah. School, But it's that's, a bit... That's my yeah. man. And he was... He was, he was, he was you know what they said? Think... You know what they said? They said... He wanted to be closer to, family. to his family. Yeah, like, I remember that. Like, yo, oh, yeah, my guy in New York. I remember that. Yeah, I've asked for move. I remember that. Are they in New York? My guy can't pay enough to bring his family up to get a decent gap around the asshole. That's crazy. As soon as I hear, with to be closer to the family. Give it a yeah. rest. But, but Nordin, you know, no, you know, what, you know, Manchester United is all about the sentiments, isn't it? We're a sentimental club, bro. We love these stories. We love a little, oh, he's close to his family story. We love a little, oh, he used to work at the club. Let's bring him back. We love a little, you know, we love, yeah, we love yeah, these the stories. Best, he's best for the job, mate. But there yeah, you the go. Best person for the job. No, I can't oh, hate you people. Bad, man. People yeah. in the comments saying Arsenal sacked him. I didn't even know this. Wow. This is nah, you know what? Reason why, Arsenal it? might have sacked him, man. They might have sacked him. They might have said, "Yo, listen, you're not, you're not one of our guys, man." And we're trying to move on, <laughs> and they, they, they wanted to kind of maybe go along a different route. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you know what I mean, bro. They might wanted to go down a different route, man. So, and then we just get the second fiddles, man. Like every single time we do, second mm. fiddles every single time, bro. So, you know what? Hey, Sayed, I want to see what Aaron thinks because yeah. are you worried about Martinez long term, Aaron, or are you are you like cool to go into next season say like fresh? One hundred. I'm definitely worried. The first the first yeah. thing I had, uh, the first thought that I had was, yo, in the summer, go get someone that's reliable, just in case Martinez picks up an, an, another injury and he has to be out for three, four, five months, however long it's going to be. Because right now, I'm not going to lie, Lissandro, love the guy, he's an incredible baller for our for our team, but I can't rely on him. I can't rely on him. And someone that's not reliable, you can't include him in your plans. Because if we don't go out in the summer and get at least two or three centre-backs, and we only get mm. one, let's say, and bank on the fact that Martinez is going to be um, it's going to be fit, what if, he, if he's injured again? 
Do you know what I mean? We saw even when it's not an injury. This guy went to the World Cup, didn't even play, and then party for a month, and then came back, and he was still not ready. Man, man was analyzing the timeline. Man, like man, like Rans was analyzing the timeline, bro. I was like, yo, I'm sure he came back earlier. Then I realized, no, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't even play. I'll tell you what. He didn't even play the Manchester derby. He came on. Remember last? He came. Yeah, he came late. And this is, bro. This guy weren't. He started. I think I checked the the fixture list. He started one game in the World Cup, and I think it was Saudi Arabia. If I'm not wrong, correct me in the comments, people. I think it was Saudi Arabia. He, He started one game. Yeah. He, he started one game and all the other games, the centre-back partnership was Romero and yeah. Otamendi. Yeah. Mm. Otamendi played ahead of him, bro. Yeah. So yeah. he could have come back straight into the team and played, but nah. He yeah, someone made a enough. good point as well. Copper America this summer. There you go. Mm. I don't think he's going to play. I don't think he's going to play because Scaloni... Because because Scaloni is going to look at his team and go, yo, I won the World Cup by playing Otamendi and Romero. Why would I change it? Why would I change yeah, it? That's true. So true, and when true. when Pogba and Varane won the, when Pogba won the World Cup, yeah, he came back early. Remember, he came yeah, back yeah, early because he said he wanted Varane. to help the team. When he could have stayed in Varane. Paris, partied and all of that, yeah. he could have stayed there. Do you know what I mean? He said, "Nah, let me go back early and train with my team and be ready to help the team." And he was there early. Lissandra yeah, sure was done for about asked weeks. about it as well. Ten Hag was asked, and he was basically saying that Ra the World Cup, he should be allowed to. I was thinking, bro. Nah, man. Like, like, right all due joke, respect, man. yeah. Right, cool, right, you joke. won it, but you weren't on the pitch like that. You didn't really contribute yeah. to to mm. um, what's it called, Argentina winning it. So why are you gone for three weeks, bro? Facts. Yeah, yeah. Man. It's, it's really what annoying. Saying, Big up, Big up, uh, Big up music. What's going on? What's going on, man? Then what are you man saying? Nah, we're here, man. We're here. We're just trying to talk about. Talk about this is a Martinez situation, man. But I'm, I, I said to people, listen, I get it, Martinez is injured, Musa, but look at these man, the, the amount of ground they're covering, man, the amount of distances, man. The man are doing more far every game, bro. You know what I mean? I'm surprised, yo. <laughs> these man are doing more far every game, bro. It's crazy. But you see this Martinez guy, when we bought him here yeah, from Ajax, what, wait, take me back. Was what, what was the transition? Was this brother injured when we, when we first got him in? I was thinking that earlier. No, but when we got him, so when we got him, I'm sure the brother was injured. Something it wasn't a it wasn't a, a straight. Like, no, I, think, I think he, I think yeah, I think he might have been injured yeah, when he was bro. It was yeah. something, but I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. Remember. something was something going on. I don't think oh, it was a straight Lord. process that we brought him in. I'm sure he was coming back from a little something, well, little mic's injury. Mic's cracking. Probably without the mic. Yeah, let me let me change it. Let me come. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, I don't know. You know, I need to find out. You know, was he injured when he came in? I can remember. I, I don't, I don't think like he. Came I know he had. I know he had one moment. injury. I'm sure he had quite a, like a bit of a longer injury the season before he joined us, as in that season. But I don't remember. In no, the summer because I, 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 remember. Yeah. I, I, I remember swear he there. played. I swear he played the first game against Brighton last season. He played the first game. He was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. First game of the season. Oh, no, no, yeah. was that Maguire? And... Nah, Chet nah, Martinez was there because yeah, I was at the game with Saeed. And, he was and there, Martinez I swear he was there. Yeah, I can't pitch. remember. Yeah, Martinez was the remember. best player on the pitch. The rest is, yeah. yeah. We played Ericsson up front. Ajax. Remember, we played Ericsson. Yeah. Yeah. Ericsson Force 9. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In Ajax, three seasons, nine games missed. Manchester yeah, United, one and a half seasons, mm. 43 games yeah. missed. Yeah. Tyrone, I hear it. You can give him another chance, but the question marks need to be up. That's over one point five seasons, by the way. He missed 43 games. Yeah, 43 games. He's missed 43 Jesus games, bro. Christ. And how many appearances wow. he's got for Man United? Let me find out how many appearances he's got for Man United. The Sanjo Martinez. That's actually crazy. From 9 to 43, bro. Overall appearances. Wow. That's Someone mental. Find out well, the thing is, yeah, right if Ten Hag stays, the chances of him replacing that left centre-back are very low. He's, he's not going to do it, yeah, because he's going to think, let me rely on my guy. I know. He's not starting over Martinez, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just don't see it happening. And I don't see Jared Brown for it, even though everyone's screaming for him, going, I'm uncomfortable watching someone who's young, who's played at left centre-back for Everton all season, to then putting him on the right side. I like a left-footed, right-foot right foot combination. So if Tidibo mm -hmm. comes in, I want him starting on, on the right-hand side. I'm not a fan of left footers playing really on the right side. So that's just personal preference, by the way. Everyone might say, <laughs> bring Brantford in and start him next to Martinez, but... That's nah, hell no. Cool. Ramfoyt comes in as an understudy for Lissandro. Andy, yeah, Lissandro. That's and, how I see And he yeah. probably ends up starting because Lissandro's not available. And that's fine. Yeah. Mm. You know I'm saying? And, the then, and then another left back comes right in. Already. And I have Shaw. no problem with starting him at Man United. Right. Yeah, yeah and then Luke, Luke Shaw mm. can go understudy to the new left backs. We need a new left back as well. That's not right, oh, though. That's not right. 56 games he's played for Man United. That's not right, is it? 
Sounds about right. Like, 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 bro, like, if he's missed, like, if he's missed forty three, bro, fifty six sounds about right to me, bro. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? I told you, this this brother, nah, brother, nah, I told nah, you, nah. Saeed, blood. This guy's a sick man. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Yeah, got ideas as well. Oh, that's yeah. that's by that the league. I'm guessing they got you got, got, got to the FA Cup final, we got to Europa League quarters, and that's yeah. Two yeah. 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 Bro, I reckon this brain even played 50 games for us. I'll be real. I don't think so because if he had, you you know, United would have done the whole graphic of our 50th I, I appearance. Like and played like 30 oh, games yeah. this time, and we got twanged, bro. That's what oh, I believe. Like 36 yeah. league games, EFL Cup 541. How many in the FA Cup? Yeah. Scroll down, Saeed. It's got to be in the FA Cup, surely. Keep scrolling. I say Cup. FA Cup, they yeah. go four. four games. Okay, raw. Yes, yeah, about 50. Yeah, bro. Less than fifty games, bro. <laughs> nah, man. Someone, someone double check that, man. Someone double yeah. check the stats. So you can't believe it. And then obviously, <laughs> and then obviously, <laughs> don't forget that we won the Carabao Cup in it. So you had about seven games. I've been telling you, brother. I've been telling you, brother. Remember, we got to two cup finals last year, so we played more games than we would usually play. Yep. Yep. Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah. Man. You know what? Let me um. Let me get the super chats in because there's a couple on, on, on the style of play. Smash the likes, people, man. Big up everyone. Yeah, smash the likes, people, man. Big up, sorry, my G, sorry for your lost tie. Eric Tenag out. Big up, Big Ben's appreciation poll. Big up to everyone on the panel and Saeed. Thank you for all bringing amazing content to, to everyone. Everyone, you, all of you are legends. Big up, man. Big Ben's always. Big up, uh, Killis says. Big up, panel. My thoughts uh, are with you, Ty. Eric Ten excuses is Big back. Up, Big up, Mickey. I says, who would have expected Ten Hag's assistants to be more ambiguous than Ten Did <laughs> Ten Diddy's sexuality? Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit, man! Big up, Kyle. <laughs> he says, Aaron. <laughs> Can I run? What's it, Aaron? Aaron Nuruddin Rand Saeed, the original four horsemen of dopeness. A big up yeah. to RR. He says, big up, fellas. This is a dope space y'all have created. I'm aware this might be a stupid question. After Marcel's cameo, can someone explain ex explain with clarity what style of play means? Can we get a group consciousness? <laughs> Oi. I think Tash bro, that we need, we need you, know, you know what's crazy about that? You know what's crazy about that? <laughs> you, know, you, know, you, know, you know what's crazy about that? Because obviously I've been watching all the... The the clips going around out. with with Marcel, man. Shout out to Marcel. He, he yeah, really is a like Rand said. He really is a politician, fam. He could win the elections in the UK, fam. I, I won't lie. But um, yesterday, when Newcastle was playing, I was looking at them and I was thinking, these men are depleted. When I say depleted, I mean depleted. Yes, they drew against Everton, cool. But how is it possible that these men are able to keep up that same in you know that same intensity that they have? That yeah, same yeah. enthusiasm that they play with. How is it possible? Bro, I watched the game against... Uh, what, what was that game where Bearman dropped out um, on the weekend? Who did they play when they won 4-3? West Ham. West Ham, yeah. Bro, how many people dropped out? What, Al Almiron? Injured. Um, uh, what's his name? Lascelles? Injured. Yeah. Um, I swear Livermento, there was another... Livermento got injured. Livermento got yeah. injured. Bro, three, four men dropped yeah. out and these men came back and won the game, bro. How did they? How is it possible that they managed to keep the same enthusiasm, the same style of play, keep the same principles, despite shuffling the whole team around? And bro, I watched their bench, and the bench looked dead. The bench looked mm. absolutely dead. But we've got a way till all our players come back for us to pass to string passes together. That's what was. That's what's being. That's what I'm being told right now. That we've got a way for all the players to be available for us to. Be half decent on the ball. Yeah, yeah. It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. We're nearly. I usually have this rule, and I think Nodin has the same rule. I give the manager eighteen months. Eighteen months. You got to show me what you can do and what you can implement into the team. Because I, I think that eighteen months is long enough for a manager to work on the training pitch and to tell the players what he wants to see. I think eighteen months is way more than enough. This is past 18 months now. And in my head, I've even tried to extend it. And I tried to, ah, you know, maybe 19 months, ah, maybe 20. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Hold it. At 20 months, I was like, nah, nah. Hold on, man. This is nearly two years now. This is nearly two years. Because even when, even when we had a full squad, going back to the start of the season, that game against Wolves, we should have lost it. Yeah. That first game yeah. of the season. Yeah. And we even got lucky because remember Onana done that, um, 
done that thing where they yeah, should have... Yeah, 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 yeah. We, no, we no, were even no, lucky. Apparently forgetting Nottingham Forest. They had yeah. 10 men. Nottingham, Nottingham Forest. Forest. Oh, remember them. They bopped us. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we were, that was we were holding we, 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 lives. They had, yeah, we yeah. Had, they had 10 men and they're bobbing us off that part. Crazy. Old enough for yeah, their yeah. lives. Can like, I, can we, I, get, we, got, we, we get outplayed. We get outplayed nearly every single game, but yeah. because sometimes we just have that little bit of luck, we manage to, do you know what I mean? We manage to nick it and nick it here, nick it there. And against Brentford, I won't lie, I had a feeling like that um, that lead wasn't going to last. I didn't think it, would, it wouldn't last more than two minutes. <laughs> I didn't think that. But I was like, at some point, these lot are going to come back. And lo and behold, it happened. Like, fo the football keeps proving to us you know if you want to look at man, man united this season and you want a full explanation of what we look like don't even look at the scoreline against brentford look at how quick they equalized and look at how they re they equalized against us yeah. that tells you yeah, everything yeah, you need to know yeah, yeah. Mm. everything okay, okay. big facts well, let me you know what's bad as well you know what's bad as well because for me aaron thank you so much for bringing us part to this question because like i said Tyrone, you had an easy start to the show, but we want to bring you to the stand. You know what I'm saying? We want to bring you to the <laughs> stand. This is madness. This is a sickness, this is. This is what this is. That's what Eric Tenag fans are. They're vaccinated with the wrong vaccine. And now the, 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 the neurons in the brain are fried. <laughs> so, shout out to Faz. <laughs> knows who they are who made that edit. Yeah, shout out to hey, Saeed, I've got a question. I've got a question for him already straight off the bat. That's go on, go for it, go for it. Tyrone, listen, look. You said at the start of this show, Ten Hag yep. needs to take accountability. Mm, he needs to yes. realise what he's doing. What about you? <laughs> are you yeah. taking accountability? <laughs> are you accepting the fact that this manager is not it. You are telling yeah. us about, oh, you know what? You're looking up to the FA Cup. No, don't do this. You are always talking about the next game. We're going to be positive. Watch. Now, look, where's that gone? So are you now yeah. Tyrone MC? Mike, controller. <laughs> are you now <laughs> going here? <yeah. laughs> are you now going to take your accountability, my broski? Are you here now? Are you jumping out? No, no, no. I take I talk to me. I take accountability. Like at the end of the day, right? Like I said to you already, the, the Liverpool game is kind of one of them games that can kind of give you that false hope, that false narrative. You know, you think is it the kickstart or something, but deep down, like I was like, look, I'm excited in the moment in the 90 minutes because I'm a football fan. And of course, anyone's going to be buzzing when you beat Liverpool. But I was like in my head, can we follow it up against Brentford? I know they had Embuemo back. I know Wiss is there. But still, it's a Brentford team that have got injuries as well. Did I expect us to perform much better than we did against Brentford? 100%. I probably put that performance in the top five worst under Ten Hag. I actually think that was, yeah. I thought that was horrendous. And, you know, we had Kobe on the pitch. I know Casemiro came on. You know, Mason Mount came back. But we still had Rashford. You know, we had Ganacho, we had Hoyland. Ganacho was off it. I know we travelled and stuff, but still, it doesn't mean that you can't have a bigger impact in the games. Um, the defence, we haven't had a, a settled defence this season. And I think that's quite hard for Ten Hag because I feel like last year the success was built off the, the Martinez, Luke Shaw, Varane and, and Dallow or wan defence. And I thought that was kind of like the staple towards the success. I don't think the attack was amazing last year, but the back four kind of like, you know, held it together, kept it solid. And I'm not trying to defend Ten Hagi. I'm just giving my reasons that I think that, you know, us not having a, a great back four this year has not helped towards results. But the football could also still be better. And I think the football has been crap. Am I, am I still willing to give Ten Hag a, some time to see if he can turn it around in the summer, get players in and see what we can do at the start of next season? I'm not going to say I'm against it. I think if there's one manager that I'll be happy to see come in and then I'll be like, do you know what? I'm happy to see Ten Hag sacked. It would be probably Julian Nagelsmann. I said that a while back before people started talking about him. Yeah. Like, I think he's a young manager. I think he's a manager that can, you know, progress this team and be here and do like a Jurgen Klopp at Liverpool and want to stay for a long time and build something. But then again, I'm, I'm looking at this crop of players and I'm like, can Nagelsmann come in here and just straight away work with these lot? Because I also think these players are crap as well. And I think there needs to be wholesale changes. I think the medical staff, I think 
Ten Hag needs to adapt his ways and we need to see what he does in the transfer window. But I don't think a lot of managers can come in and save this club right now. But I do also think that we should be playing better football. 100% like Rhino said it or, or Aaron, 18 months in, should we be playing better football? 100%. Should we allow Brentford to have 87, 87 touches in the box? No. Should we allow them to have over 30 shots on target, uh, sh 30 shots on goal? No. And this is not one game. This is a, re a recurring pattern. And, Every and game. Me, Ten Hag Sorry, he's like tired. Sorry. Just for clarity, do you mean the next transfer window coming up? 2024 summer. As in this, this summer. Like, yeah. this, this is oh. this is the, the biggest for Ten Hag. And like, if I got to October and I'm sat here now, we're in the same position, I'm sorry that like, time would fully be up. But we need centre-backs. We need central midfielders. We need energy. We need legs. I think as bad as Ten Hag has been, the players have also been as bad. I could only look at Colby Mainu. I can only look at Diogo Dallo and say, yeah, do you know what? You can hold your head high this season. And Johnny Evans, and we've had to call up him when we've had to call up on him. All right, I got a question oh, for you. Yeah? I got a question. It's a mix of both, man. I got a question. So obviously you spoke then about like the managers making mistakes. We haven't got players and obviously like the summer and stuff like that. Where's your order of priority? Like what for you is the most um, like the, the thing where it's like, this is the biggest problem? Players. I, I think yeah. I want to, I, I want to I wanna get, I want to get, I want to change our midfield. I, I just think, look, we've got Bruno Fernandes, which everyone knows our frustrations, the highs and lows. Ericsson can't run. Casemiro, good at what he does, but his legs ain't there. Too much pressure on Kobe. Are we going to fail him like we did with Pogba? Central defence, big problems. Left back, big problems. We didn't have these issues last year. And we need a deputy for Hoyland because when we've seen Marcus Rashford play up there, doesn't work yeah. at all. And for me, the reason I say players, Leon, to like summarise your answer is that you could change the manager, but we've still got the same players. But we get better players in and the manager then still doesn't work with it. But we we all agree on here in the summer. We're like, right, we've got Brantford. We've got Tadebo. We've got a midfielder. We've got... We can then say, okay, another manager might come in and work with these players because these players are at least technically better and more um, have a better foundation. Here's, so that's my, thing, yeah. Here's first. my thing. Obviously, you spoke last season about the defence was solid and stuff like that, yeah? This guy's had another, what, seven, eight, nine months with these players, yeah? So why haven't they been drilled enough to at least be able to defend and at least defend as a unit? Why haven't we been selecting the right players to help us get success? Because Leon, he left, he left Ax early. He all left early in that. Sheet, Tyrone, <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Game. You could have said to me, you, Leon, you can't watch the game. Look at the team sheet, tell me what the score is. I would have just told you straight away, just from looking at the team sheet. Mm. Straight away. I feel, well, honestly, Luke, I feel like what's happened is every time we've had a, tried to get players back, one's been out, Varane would be out. Varane's been no, inconsistent. I'm on about the players right. that he's picking because I'm looking at the bench and I'm like, you could pick way better combination. You can't, We know for a fact, yeah, when we see McTominay, <laughs> Bruno, and we see Mino, I know what's going to happen, bro. Straight away. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so when you send Docs, I thought you send I know when I see Garnacho, yeah, Rashford mid and Hoyland, straight away I know what's going to happen. I think, oh, yeah, there's certain good. games where I think you could pick a better defence partnership and you could pick a def better de midfield partnership. But I'll be honest with you, my, my opinion on these players is no matter what sort of combination you pick, I'm still not happy with the quality of the players we've got. I'm not, but anyway, I disagree period. that we can't get a better result with the right combination and better drilled coaching. I really think we can get much better results. I really think, be sorry, better performances, which will lead to better Oh, no, I, I agree with you. I think, and that that comes down to down to Ten Hag's coaching. I think we can be play, play better football, 100%. Right, go, bro. But, I'm about to go. I just want to ask one more question to you, yeah? I'm hmm, somebody yeah. who never really, who always blamed the football structure and the owners, and I still do that. I genuinely do think that Ten Hag is not cannot be the only person who leaves if he leaves because if, if majority of the fan base think we're just going to get rid of Ten Hag and everything and somebody's going to come in and fix us all, it's not going to work. Medical department, uh, the players, we know the players who need to leave. I'm even willing to spend majority seventy percent of the budget in the summer to spend them paying people out to get the hell out of the football club. Right, that's yeah. how far I'm gone. Right, in that sense, but I just want you genuinely right. Like, cause you know what, me and you inter we've interacted before. I genuinely mm -hmm. believe, like, you got like football knowledge, and you, you, you're, uh, you are good faith. You make the arguments good faith. You're a good faith, good faith debater. That's what you are. But can you just tell me one thing that says to you deep down, this manager deserves another season? Mm. What is the one thing that you can hold on to from seeing what you saw last season, this season, and then go? This, this, there's something I see there that I'm curious about and I want to stay him to get another chance for another season and then hopefully the rest he can then recover and then we can all, we can all come on here and apologise to you. What is it? What is the single thing that's keeping you have that faith? Okay, so 
You'd have to agree, obviously. But last year, got top four. I didn't expect top four. So this is my opinion. Last year, we got top four. I didn't expect top four. Won a trophy last year in our first season. And this year has been a failure. So for me, mathematically, it's 1-1 one, one in seasons. But the football has still not been great. The football was okay until March last year. After the Carabao Cup, I think we've fallen off. We've got Jurgen Klopp leaving in the summer. Pochettino still struggling. Eddie Howe struggling. We've got other managers around us that we're competing with are struggling. Pep Guardiola is probably the only outstanding manager so far that we're going to be looking at next season. So I believe that if we get a, a good summer, let's see what Ten Hag can do. No excuses. I'm not going to come on here in October and give excuses. But right now, I'll say it's 1-1 one, one in seasons. We've got top four and won a trophy. This year has been, been a disaster. But ultimately, Nuruddin, if you said to me, look, how would I weigh up Ten Hag's time here? What I expected, I thought this season... Not as bad as the football, but I thought this season could have been last year while he was transitioning and I would have allowed him time. And I thought last season would have been this year. OK, we win a trophy no matter what it is and we get top four. It's obviously happened the other way around, which means naturally we've regressed in terms of, you know, we got knocked out of the Champions League early. There was no excuses yeah. for that. So, yeah, I, I, I think it's a balance of seasons. It's one all. Um, and I want to give him this summer and then... It's not I'll give him the whole season, though. It's to see who we sign and then he can say, like, look, he's got his whole players because I just still believe that as much as a manager needs changing, I still just don't believe these players are good enough. But you know what the manager you give me, I don't like these players. Can I, can I, can I say something? Before you go, before you go, before, before. When you look at even last season, though, he should have been easily sacked after that 7 nil. but we let him off, you know. We let him off after the 6-3. <sighs> we, let, we let him off after bad results last season. So when you look at last season, when we say it's 1-1, one, one, you know, arguably, you know what I mean? You've got you got more you got embarrassed as well last season, but because it was a first season, we let it slide. But mm. reality is he could have easily been sacked after that seven nil. And reality is as well that we've been playing well for about six, seven months, really. Let's be honest. From yeah, no, I think we got to March and after Carabao, I think yeah, after the Carabao. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I, I disagree. I fundamentally disagree because I was calling it out in January and it's on the straight jacket podcast. Okay, there you go then. I was calling January. out in January and I was like, this football is not sustainable. Because the way mm. that we were playing, I didn't see the progression. I didn't see, okay, this is the next stage. Yeah. And I'll never forget the Newcastle game away where from minute, we got bopped from minute to the last minute, like mm. by a team that was more physical. And when I look at, for me, this is the biggest indictment of Eric Ten Hag, right, before we go. Manchester United are not a passing team. We're not yep. a physical team. We're not a pressing team. We're not, we're not a low block team. When I look at it, I think if I'm... Confuses games live. What the hell are the players thinking? That to exactly. me is the biggest indictment. That's why exactly. he doesn't get another year because we've seen it already. And he's mm. stubborn enough, is stubborn to so that he plays through two players. Usually managers have a system. Then they have their favorite players who can play in the system, but those favorite players can be changed because system is king. And Eric Ten Hag, yeah. the stubbornness of keeping certain mm. things, like with all the disciplinary thing. I was with him if he said, OK, I'm going to keep the 100% straight. I thought because he was good in that first season and he seems to have fallen away from that. I thought it was like, good first season. All of that. And now my guy looks like Jasper mm. the Ghost. I seen mm. a photo of him, still photo of him the other day. <laughs> and I'm like, this ain't good for your health either. You know what I mean? Get your 10 million yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what it is, Nuridin, though? If he does go, like, I'm not in a position, like, if we sat here next week and, and we, we, lost, we got battered by Liverpool on Sunday and, 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 he's, and, and Chelsea and he's gone, I, I would be sit here saying... Now, nah, why do we sack him? Like, I completely the good the thing is about me. I think I'm quite a a, a logical person. I'm quite clever. And in terms yeah. of in terms of like, if he was gone, I would not be like, oh my god, why is he gone? I completely understand why fans want him gone, and why they want to change. So I'm not like, oh my god, if he got sacked, I wouldn't sit here and moan. <laughs> like, I hear it. And and at the same time, I'm like, right, there's not loads of managers that I'd want. Like I said, Nagelsmann is probably my top choice. Amarim, I know he plays a back three and he likes his attacking wing backs. That means we'll have to change the profiles there, but Dallow can play there. But I, I'm not against it. So it's not like I'm, I'm ten yeah, hard. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, the, the manager that makes sense to everything is De Zerbi because he, he improves young players. Manchester United mm. have got young players. Aye. Before I see Kobe trending like Rashford is in a couple of years' time, we need to go and get Deserbi because he actually does not compromise on his philosophy. Because I'm getting whacked now anyway. He doesn't. But How many of these players know. that we've got right now can do what no, no, no. Deserbi I mean, wants I mean, to do? You'd we'll be surprised, you know, the time. A lot, a lot of them can, bro. We'll a lot bro. of them yes, can, bro. Louis Van Gaal had them bopping about. Bro, yeah. there you go. Van Gaal was the last coach these players mm. had. 
And that was the last that's coach the biggest, that was the That's the biggest fake walk. news that we've got I crap players. I don't yeah. need an Anglesman. No. I don't need somebody no. coming from... Somebody who's already doing it, doing it on the budget, doing it with younger players, and they talk about injuries. They're, they've been decimated this season. Yeah, Look decimated. Like they've had bad injuries. Players, yeah, yeah. And he's still doing it. I saw... I rate like, the Derby. I just don't... Listen, I, don't I saw that... Don't I'm, similar to you. I'm similar to you, I Tyrone. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. Comfortably out, out of yeah. out. Yeah, 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 but yeah, but then, then three weeks ago, then three weeks ago, he's getting bought four nil by Fulham. So like, I rate deserve yeah, it, but you've got to come on, you've got to, you've got to have it. Should be, like, he should be getting bought four nil though. With the players he's got, he should be. Like Brighton should be. That's their level, but he's going against all odds. Fulham spending dough on ballers, you know. Their man spent how much on a Wobie? Their man got Willian and all these guys, bro. Brighton? Bro. Nah, bro. Brighton. I don't mind that. I swear to you, if I go to the Old Trafford, I can see them. I want to be able to close You're not going to take a 4-0, Lourdes. Don't, do don't do that, man. Don't do that, Lourdes. You're not going to take 4-0, are you? Lourdes. I am. Saeed, Listen, Lourdes. Lourdes. You're not, man. Saeed. 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 We're taking 4-0. Saeed. 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 Give me, give me yeah. us getting slapped now and again, but good football. We can week out. And when I close my eyes, thinking the ball's going here, the ball's going there, the ball's going there. We're overloaded. We're scoring goals. Why do you have to get slapped? Why do you have to get slapped? Why do you have to get slapped? Though? Why do you, you just bring it by the process? We're not winning the league title anytime soon. We're not challenging for the Champions League. Exactly. I, and I agree. Game. I agree. I, I agree. So if you, listen. In football, three results. Win, lose, on draw. That's what happened. Fergie used to get slapped. We didn't uh, slap uh, do you know what? Let me, let me ask you a question, yeah? Let, let Southampton. Me... Southampton used to slap us up. No, it's true. Southampton. Yeah, yeah. We go to the Southampton. We used to get slapped. And this is Roy Keane in the team. Beckham in the team. So I don't mm. know what. Getting slapped is part of football. But generally, could you play good football? And to me, the Serbi is the only guy who's proven and done it and he's got asked about getting involved in Trump. the only guy. Yeah, no, 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 no. In, in, the, in the Prem. In the Prem. In the league. Oh, yeah, in the Prem. We're talking about in the Prem. That's a... Yeah. He's right. Hey, he's gone out here. He's gone out here. So, to me, it's simple. If you want the young players to be coached the right way, if you want players improve... I've seen gross. I swear to you guys, yeah. what right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pascal Gross, bad boy, oh, bad boy. I'm like, bad what boy. has he done to this player? Facts. What has he done to... I'm sorry. Good football is the thing that I need. I'm getting slapped as it is already. Uh, no, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go up so they're getting slapped time. seven nil time, let's man. Call it, let's call it, let's oh. call it around the clock here. Yeah. Let's go around the clock quickly. Sorry, Fan, I want to take over quickly. Right, I'm going to yes, give three realistic names. Nagelsmann, Amarim, De Zerbi. Rank them in your one, two, threes, people. What you'd want, and I and I'm, 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 I'm giving them managers because yeah, one, they're realistic, good. and two, I think they're all got qualities to them. I want to see. What Na- name them again. Amarim and Amarim, Zerbi, Amarim, and Nagelsmann. Them three. Okay. Zerbi, Amarim. So I think they're all gettable and, and this, really. Where do you think Nagelsmann's going, by the way? Because Aaron knows, obviously, German football. I, I, I know. Do you know what? I know Aaron is. I know Nagelsmann's Aaron is number one. I know that. Yeah, he's N- oh. Nagelsmann's my number one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. He's, 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 he's my number one. De Zerbi is, my, is number two. I haven't seen much of sporting, so I can't judge. So I'm going to put Amarim in three. Yeah. Yay. Hey, Aaron, can I ask you a question? Okay. Aaron, can I ask you a question? Do you yeah, yeah, go on. United currently, the way we are, Nagelsmann is the guy. To me, De Zerbi, three years... Then the next guy take us to Champions League, exactly, yeah. take us to the to, to the league title. Is that, that's what I'm saying to you to lay down the foundation of the yeah, yeah. and ball playing ability to coach players, so the next manager that can come and take it up. I don't think United can get need Nagelsmann right now. No. What? So you are you saying that you need Nagelsmann have to have better players? Is that what you're saying, Nuruddin? Oh, here we go. This guy's trying. Are you saying, are you saying that Nagelsmann would need to have better players he's to come in? It, bro. No, we don't. But he's no, 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 no,
where teams that have been coached to play better football, Fernandes want to take it to the next level. Yeah. It's not right now. Okay. If Derby's okay. the only drill sergeant, who's going to tell people like Van Gaal did, so you stand here, you what? do it, you don't do it again. Right. Fuck the football pitch. So you, you, feel, you feel like for a step one coach, De Zerbi's the best for the step he one? He's the best that we need right now. Emergency. Yeah. He's the guy that we need right now. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't um, write off Nagelsmann just yet because I'm even. I don't even have to go back to his Leipzig days. I'm going back to the days when he was at Hoffenheim. They were close to getting relegated, and within a season, he qualified them for Champions League. So, if that's not coaching, then the only superstar I would say he had in the team back then was Bobby Firmino, and then they sold him to Liverpool. So, if he can do that with a below-average Hoffenheim side, you bring him into Man United. And he literally implements his style. Why not? But I wouldn't say no to the Zerbi either, because I know that if the Zerbi comes in, his way is going to be his way. If you don't like it, you're out. And this is going to count for anybody. Do you know what I mean? So I wouldn't say no to the Zerbi. I'm just saying my first choice like, would be, um, mm. be Nagelsmann. You know I'm what? Before I hear Rance, Rance wants to Zerbi, yeah, yeah. I think for me, one thing that I will give credit to Deserby is that I don't think half of these players can survive under Deserby football. I'll be real with you. They won't. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They won't. They these won't. guys here. Yeah. So that's why maybe I want Deserby because I'm like, you know what? He'll get a lot of these players that we all debating. See you later. Because he'll be like, you know what? Yeah, big up Nuri. Love, yeah? Big up to you, bro. Right, he'll, you, he'll, he'll, make sure, he'll make sure that these guys are out the door. And maybe another manager might give them a bit of a chance. But yeah, Rance, talk to us. What are you saying? I don't like Nogles, man. So, it's one of them, ones. I don't like him. Um, you, don't, you don't like the suits he's wearing? And... <laughs> well, I just, I just, what did you call him? Hey, can I what? You don't like the suits? Yeah, I, I think hey, it, was, I like, it was. I like it. It was a Oli uh, for H. I can't remember, bruv. But H &M it's probably, it was, yeah. it's probably, yeah. He looks like a H&M mannequin. He does, but um, <laughs> it's one of them ones where, bro, I'll be real, yeah? Like, if Nogglesman comes in, for instance, yeah, we don't get rid of the players we want to get rid of because he just likes runners, bro. And we've got bare shit yeah. runners already. So he's going to try to work with these bums, bro. The Zerbi will come in. He'll change the football. He'll improve a lot of the players here because he'll get them to play. He'll get them to think. And also, he'll bring in better players, bro. Nagelsmann, bro, he plays that chaotic football that Liverpool play. I don't like that, bro. Like, I, I need to see some football now, bro. Like, man, don't want to see this Kalas thing no more. I want to see us control the ball, play up from the back. What's the point in getting a Nagelsmann with a Nana in goal, bruv? Like, bro, let's get a proper build-up manager, yeah, with the players that we do have, yeah, and play some proper football, bro. Like, when I'm seeing Dunk, yeah, beating presses against Liverpool, bro, I'm thinking, hold on. <laughs> but, because we know he's not good. Like, we know he's not good, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? But, bro, yeah. there's players that we have, even players like Harry Maguire, yeah, on the ball, yeah, with someone like the Zerbi, he don't look as bad, bro, straight away because he's going to have an outlet to move the ball because he can pass. Yeah. But the problem is, yeah, when you give him, when you let him do his own thing, this guy's trying to play that 60 yard diag all the time. That's that's the problem with Maguire, bro. He tries to force the football, bro. But when you've got systems in place and he knows who the, the first man, the second man, and the third man is, and he can play the passes and they're drilled, half of these players look better immediately. Someone like a Mesa Mount looks better immediately. In a Deserby system because he runs anyway. So all these third man runs with Mason Mount breaking into the box, he's gonna score goals, bro. Like mm. there's players in this team, yeah, that work under Deserby. The Nagelsmann thing looks like organized chaos in it. And I just nah man, it relies more on individual abilities, yeah, that would our players don't have, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Like so I'm, what are you I'm saying, Rance? You're saying I'm that I'm, Amarim is, is a zero, is a no. I don't even know if this bro speaks English, blood. He can go to <laughs> Liverpool. <laughs> so, so Rance, what are you saying then? You're saying like some of no, the players that we know are not the, the best in the squad. They just get told this is your role. This is what you do within the system. Because <clears throat> right now, they're getting too much freedom to just do. They're not good. Yeah, of course. But also, what, one thing the Zerbi's good at here yeah, is he's good at identifying player profiles. Mm. This is what yeah. our manager not good at. Yeah, oh, for real. So when you watch... Um, Callis, all these guys. When yeah, you yeah. watch Callister and Caicedo, yeah. He understands what kind of players they are and he understands what zones they need to occupy because of their strengths. Like, our managers letting our players just run everywhere and just get on the ball in positions they don't need to be on yeah, the ball. Yeah, some guys are getting way too much free. It's horrible, bro. Like, Casemiro oh, shouldn't, be receiving, shouldn't be receiving the ball facing our goal because he's not good in those situations. But he always ends yeah. up in those situations because, yeah, there's no one doing the first phase, bro. He's supposed to be a guy that receives, receives the ball 
after he's played forward. Do you know what mm. I'm saying? And this and this is the problem, bro. We're getting guys in the wrong. Um, we're getting guys in the wrong zones, bro. And I hear, the same that, I hear that angle, that bit on it. I hear that. Bro, the Zerbi will make sure that these men know the body shape to receive the ball. Yeah, yeah. Where mm. to be when the ball's in certain areas, bro. And these men will just start playing, bro. We saw it under Van Gaal, bro. Like, this Bray had Chris Smalling stepping into midfield, bro. And, and bro, playing. Silky, like, bro. Bro, he yeah, was yeah. stepping mm. into midfield. He wasn't just passing the ball sideways. He was driving yeah. forward, bro. Big yeah, Chris yeah, yeah. Smalling that's got no feet. But he had the confidence to step into midfield and pass. That's he that's did. one thing. That's one thing I'll give the Zerbi though. Even though he's not my first choice, he's got the eye for, <clears throat> sorry, the eye for the right profile, man. I remember when he was at Sassuolo, like I was so shocked when he asked for Kevin Prince Boateng to do what, <laughs> bro. You should have seen what he was doing there, bro. Have you heard? Yeah, have you, know. Even the, even the interview. Said he's the best man. Yeah. Even the interview that you've done, yeah, and he said that he insisted that he wanted Jeremy Boga. Nobody at that club yeah. understood why, but he knew why. And Jeremy Boga was ripping up trees over there, and then he got his move to Atalanta. So that I'll give him that. If he comes to the club, I know he'll ask for specific players for his football that he wants to play, which might make us man them go, raw, who's this guy? But he knows. Do you see what yeah. I mean? So I, I, if he comes, I'll trust his talent ID 100%. I feel like he brings that healthy yeah. fear as well because right now we've got a manager who's yeah, on loving the, the sound like, of it. If Ten Hag like, asked them to do something, <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 like when Ten Hag asked them to do so, and I'm sure a lot of these men, like what what game was it when we went when we had the Liverpool game in extra time? Yeah, I was watching the huddles of the players. Yeah, and you can see who's Ahmad and their man were just like disinterested. I don't know if you've mm -hmm. seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, second half, they were just doing their own thing, and then other man like Anthony and that. And there's like three or four of them that were listening to him. The rest weren't. So I feel like you need that manager that gives you that. If you don't do this within Thanks. the system, you're getting off the pitch in it because right now it's just all. Just, it's just crazy right now, isn't it? But yeah, yeah but I think this manager's this failed the players enough that they're not listening to him. No, they're not motivated. Yeah, 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 yeah. When he put Anthony left back, Anthony was cussing him off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Like, and that's the bread that like, you yeah, brought here, that's isn't your it? Guy. Like, yeah, that's your guy. They've had enough of him, bro. Like, that's just all it is. They've had enough of him because they're looking at him like, yo, bro, you tell us what to do, and we get battered every week. Mm. That's yeah, what man. happens, even when we win, we get battered. Literally, you know what I mean, yeah, so he's yeah. like looking at this yeah. prayer like, bro, you're just getting us chiefed up on national. We're gonna make so what you're saying, and, you know, and you know what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, <clears> but with like not played well, yeah, and then he just goes, That was you can imagine all them like walking bro, in, like, Dane, bro, as like, a player, yeah. no matter Great what job. level you're. No matter what level you've played at, even if it's your school team, you know when you're getting cooked. Exactly, hundred you know. percent. Yeah. Every week, they know it. They know it. There's no way these men leave the pitch here, even after they win their little one nil after getting cooked. They know they, they know. know. And you know That's these. Like these said it. We're, we're gonna have an inquest to give their points back. Did you see what he said? He goes, <laughs> that "There's gonna be an inquest to give their points back." Go it's, on, it's really, it's really making me wonder what's being said. Sometimes, you know, when we get cooked, yeah, like some of the some of the score lines that I'm thinking back, yeah, of, of I'm thinking of the six three, the seven nil, the four nil against Brentford. I really wanted. I really would love to be in the dressing room and just like. And just hear what the guy has to say after after such defeats because I watched the full yeah. I watched the city thing on on Netflix today I finished it binge watched it today finished it and I'm like you know what yeah even though sometimes Pep might overthink it and sometimes he's trying to do too much bro the guy knows what to say to his players bro I'll give him that bro he knows exactly how to get them fired up how to motivate them again after after a defeat after a mistake after this he knows what to say at the right time. What does Ten Hag say, bro? Like when we get cooked four five nil, when we get battled all over the place and then we nick it, what does he say? <laughs> what does he say? I wouldn't be surprised. Say? I wouldn't what be surprised if he's McLaren, bro. I, I can imagine <laughs> McLaren. <laughs> it's McLaren, not he doesn't. Well, I can imagine he doesn't say much, bro, because bro, think about yeah. it. Yeah. We're getting cooked every enough. week, and this manager's going out saying, "I don't care about performances." And I don't care about attempts and that, and it's about the the, the points and that. So these players oh, probably are being told. But, Moose, you know what did you say, here? Dan? Moose, did you say he comes in and says, good ain't good enough? <laughs> yeah, good ain't good enough. <laughs> That's his best one. Good ain't good ain't good enough, bro. <laughs> he ain't done anything else, Listen. man. He's, he's finished. He's nah, finished. Man. 
before we uh, before we get on to Chelsea, I'm going to read a couple of super chats. Big up to Nate says this is for time. Brentford had 52 possession um, in the second half and 40 shots from inside our box. Does this have anything to do with the setup and Eric Ten Hag? Yeah, it does. Cause it's happening frequently. So yes, 100. percent That's a simple answer. It's not a one-off. Yeah. Big up to knowledge and mandem, he is gone. They are just letting him see out the season as they want to start from scratch. There's no job that will have you limbo for a renewal if you're the great new owners or not. Big Ben said, do you think Real Madrid will accept a 7-0 defeat or Barcelona or a 6-3 against Fretico? And Chilotti would have been gone if he, even if he's a legend, different mentality. Bro, Big even Barca, you, they yeah. made Xavi announce he was leaving halfway through the season. Bro. Literally, bro. Oh, Literally. Yeah. It's Cold. mad. One of their legends Cold. as well, you know. Players good last season and now they're not good enough. Perhaps Eric Ten Hag isn't good enough. We are getting done by Brentford. Bomber, Crystal Palace, Fulham, Brentford and Brighton three times out. Shh. Knowledge that there's not a peep from his agent or the club about a renewal. I've seen, uh, I've never seen that in United. They probably already had a convo about his future or leaks would have been about about renewal. Uh, big up to Vias who says, look at Timber. Also dealing with him perfectly and he's going to come back fully recovered. Yeah. True. Let's quickly touch on... Um, Touch on the the, the 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 Chelsea game. Anyone got any anyone bothered? Because I can't lie to you. I'm just trying to get over it. You know what I mean? Get get that game done with. Avoid banter. Avoid getting defeated. And then yeah, move on. I'll be I think this, this is this is the first time. I think this is the first time we're playing against Chelsea, and I'm just thinking one chaotic one chaotic club against another chaotic club, and we don't know what the outcome's going to be. It's just going to be two teams completely disjointed. Yeah, mid off derby, bro. You know what I mean, yeah, mid-off derby, the greatest mid-off of all, of all times. I don't know how this game is going to end. I could, I could sit here and give you predictions. I literally don't know. Yeah, I literally exactly. do not know. Yeah. So right now, I'll take a draw, whether it's a scoreless draw or a, a score draw. I don't, I don't care. I'll take a draw because I don't know what's going to happen. But something tells me that Cole Palmer is going to be on the madness. So yep. oh, yeah, he's a baller as well. Yeah, Mister Fake Kit Fifth Wall, big up my brother Cole, you know. Yeah, exactly. Aye, you know he's going to be yeah. on <clears throat> because yeah. even at Old Trafford, even at Old Trafford, I was there for the game. He he was by far, by far the best, the best player in their team. So I, I don't know, man. I don't mm. know. We could go there and put in a performance, but we could go there and get embarrassed <laughs> by a team that's probably going to beat us and then get beat in the next game. So, yeah. 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 Nah, if we lose to Chelsea, man, no. No, 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 Rhino. Let's not act like that's a shock. Come on. That's no, 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 it is. It is. Come on, bro. It Come is, on. It is. I can't lie, it is. Oh. Tight, tight. These men are <laughs> dead, bro. <laughs> what, do you think our football, is our football even better than Chelsea's, though? No, it's no, not, no. but come on, bro. <laughs> not, I think I've come to the realization Chelsea are worse than us. No, Chelsea are better than us, man. Yeah, Aaron, 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 you could not come on here and say going to Stamford Bridge where Ferguson used to say it was the worst ground. And I grew up on Chelsea going to Stamford Bridge and Ransom, no. We yeah, never used to win at Chelsea. So when we're going to this dead Chelsea now against with our dead football as well, I can't see. No, but I mean, I mean, that. Midfield. No, but I mean, with, with, with Chelsea, yeah, but at least Chelsea, like they can say that with even if they said that their players are crap or whatever. They've at least seen some sort of individual brilliance. They've seen the you know, the Madueke in the FA Cup cutting and do the that's little curl with that's his left foot. They've seen they see, they, really? they see the little combinations between Palmer and, and Sterling with the little flick and the back heel. They oh, see these. We don't see any of that. I we don't see none. That's, that's what I'm saying. So why? That's why I said don't be shocked because Rhino was like, if we lose to Chelsea, I'm saying we can't be shocked because Chelsea at least have that. How about Ty? Do you know where that's coming from? I used to say that. Chelsea are better than us. There's this sank about them. Yeah, maybe in terms of their um, owners and stuff, they're in a better position. But players-wise, they got, they've just got something got better talent, about man. them. They've yeah, and they've got more of a style than we do. Fair enough. But yes, I've been having loads of conversations with a lot of my Chelsea mates as well. And they've got more of a style. Sometimes you don't are. realize how bad they are as well. Like sometimes you don't realize how. That's what it is. I feel like as much as they got better, like they've got more signs of style of play. They've got slightly better players and whatever. They're just bad somehow. They're uh, worse yeah, than us. Let me, let me ask it's you. Weird. Let me, let me ask weird. you, though, Rhino. Let's be real. You've watched Man United. You've you watched, you watched Man United against. Yeah. You watched Man United against Brentford. You watched us this season, right? Yeah. And this yeah. is me, who who I said I, I still wanted Ten Hag in as a manager, right? But our football's been crap. How can you say the words 
I'm shocked if we lose to Chelsea. When you still say, like, the individual brilliance they've got, some of the players like Cole Palmer, one of the young players of the year, and, and you know what I'm saying, so forth, right? They've still got Raheem Still, I know he's not great, but they've still got players like Mujic and Cause a Threat or Enzo Caicedo midfielders that were tipped to the goal. Maybe not the shock. Not, maybe not shock. Like, maybe not yeah, shock but I want to hear, like, why Ryan would say that he'd be shocked okay. because I think... I don't know. I feel like, like we always... Because, because of the always... season they've had... Because of the season, yeah. they've, they've and we don't play better against Chelsea. Be Chelsea. Chelsea. Well, so, so you're sitting here, to Burnley at home. So Rhino, you're like sitting here thinking we're going to yeah. go Stamford Bridge and get a win. You're just comfortable. Yeah. Oh no, no, no! I'm not even saying it in that way. I'm not even saying it in that context. I'm just saying it as in it would just be such an embarrassment kind of thing. You feel oh, me? Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, yeah. We're dead. We can lose to any team, but that the, just the banter we're going to get losing to Chelsea and just that that conversation is going to be mad, bro. Yeah, that's going to be mad. Yeah, yeah, that's where it is. You know what it is, though. I see uh, I I yeah, because I'm because that would mean because if we lose yeah. to if we lose to Chelsea, that would mean yeah with with you see our players already have a motivation problem. If you can't get motivated to beat dead Chelsea, that's gonna be an issue, bro. Mm. That's gonna be an issue, yeah. and this is why I get what Ryan was saying that he that he'd be shocked because you can't even get up for a game against Chelsea. This Chelsea, come on, man. Come on. But yeah. I think they're in the same boat as us. They're going to be up yeah. for United coming to, to their, yeah, to their ground. They're thinking, what? Well, United's coming to us. I'm with Musa, United, United with Ten Hag's coming to Stamford Bridge and we're, we're, and we're going to hold an L. No, no, no. No way. They're, they're going to be looking at it like, yo, let's, let's, let's spin them lot. They're as bad as us. Yeah, they should yeah. realistically beat us though, realistically though, when you look at it. You know what's mad though? But, but you know what it is though? I don't want United fans to be like, but it's okay to get beat by Chelsea. Like, yeah. you know, it's, it can happen. Mm. Nah, bro, listen. If you're just going to be accepting of it, I'll be like, it's the players. What do you expect? Because I know the narrative, innit? It'll be the players mm -hmm. are thrown under the bus now. Ten Hag. That's what it'll be now. If we lose tomorrow against Chelsea, the title will be players are trying to throw the manager under the bus. It'll be, we the, don't it'll be the manager's it. selection. It'll be based on his selection side. If, if he selects the wrong players against Chelsea tomorrow, we're going to lose. If he doesn't change the lineup. And he selects the wrong players the against Chelsea. Nacho. Have leave. you heard that rant, by the way? Have you heard that right now, rant? Yeah? He needs to drop guy natural. So if anybody's saying, hey, no, I'm no, a no, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> Welcome, Spade. Nah, it took you long enough, man. Welcome. Nah, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't, well, well, he doesn't no, no, bro. No, no, no. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't he doesn't he need, need to drop, drop him. him, bro. I'm enjoying, Why? I'm enjoying winning this. <laughs> nah. The season's done, bro. Hey, Rant said, Rant said, I want to do a Mayweather ticket. Let just outplay you for 12 rounds. Nah, bro. I'm enjoying winning this fight, bro. I want it to go all 12 rounds. Nah, man. my boy, man. Man, like my boy, Ganache. Don't stop like the fight, boy. bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? Listen, man has to go nah, out on the man. field, bro. This is what it is, bro. Nah, don't throw in the towel. Don't throw in the towel. Nah, bro. We're doing the most. We're doing the white man's towel. Man's racking yo. up them appearances. Throw it in. Throw it inside. Racking up them appearances, man. I'm throwing it in right now. Like 30 on appearances, bro. Let them keep going, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Let them play, blood. Let them play. The season's over. Let him get his experience, you man said he Bro, needs to do. He needs to start Diallo, man, tomorrow. He needs, he needs to start Diallo. Guy, man. You know I, mean? I like he needs to start Diallo, man. Well, now he's calling I for Anthony. Now he wants Anthony back. Yeah, yeah, he, needs to start, he needs to start both of them, man. Maybe put Diallo in the 10. Just get Bruno off, man. Get them all yeah. off. I'm telling you, there's players that he needs to get off. Start Ericsson. Like, there's players he need, that needs to play, bro. Yeah. I think there's players yeah. that need to play. That's why every time we talk about this United team not being good enough, Eric Ten Hag's bought about <laughs> 10 players in. So yeah, who are these players that's not good enough? He's already mm. bought about 10 of his own players in. There's ballers yeah, there that he, he chooses not to, 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 to not to play. Like, every game, he's leaving his own players on the bench. Mason Mount's ready to go. Ericsson's ready to go. I think Casemiro might be back. Mm. Bring, yeah. Let's change it up. Yeah, yeah Eric, hey, Ericsson as well, man. You you know he's leaving the club because with recent the recent comments he's made yeah. about him not playing and stuff, and typical in typical fashion, of course, when a player comes out speaking about his game time, United fans want him out. Like one day you want United fans to have personality and let them express themselves. The next day, if they complain about game time, you want them out the club. Which one is it? Like pick it, pick a side, didn't it? Pick a side. Yeah. More time, more times. When Ericsson plays, I know he's not the best runner. I know he's physically not the best, not the strongest. But on the ball, he's yeah. one of our best players. And right now, we need players that are good on the ball. Because right now, what we're seeing is, is, is horrible. Do you know what I mean? And a team against Chelsea... Listen, Aaron, that's the thing. It's like, damn, it's just, I've been crying out for it all season. Two little changes in midfield, yeah? Like, you play Ericsson, then you play Ahmad up front. Just swapping with that winger. 
and that midfielder, we play so much different. Like I will always we're say, yeah, with, I will so always special. say with Ericsson, with Ericsson, I always say he, like I said, he might not give you all the running and, and physical attributes that you want in, on the pitch. But when you want that one killer pass, and I yeah, always use that example against Arsenal last season when we beat them 3 1 at home, that pass that unlocked everything, yeah, yeah. nobody else is playing that pass apart from him. Nobody else is doing yeah. that. And if anyone else is doing that, they're overhitting it. It's not got the right backspin. It's not got the right power behind it. He does it perfectly. But him why he's not, why he's not playing? Him or Sanch. Him or Sanch, yeah. Why he's not playing? Yeah. Only, God, only God knows. You know, the interesting yeah. thing as well is people will say, oh, yeah, Bruno, he's the big chance creator. He made five big chances oh. in this game, yeah? And then yeah, yeah. give, Ericsson, <laughs> give Ericsson one or two passes, yeah? Watch the way he makes that pass. This is why when Thanks. it was going back and forth with Neji about the De Bruyne thing, it's like, watch the way that players try and create a chance. Spamming yeah. the ball is not, is not te- it's not technique, it's not smart, it's not IQ. Facts. It's not the team, nope. it's just... It's just disadvantage, cripple us, cripple us, cripple us. Whereas when you watch Ericsson, you can give him the ball in that between the halfway and the box. He'll, he'll carry it. Do you know what I mean? He'll give and go or whatever. He'll get in the position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep it there. How many times have you watched the team this season where we just keep it top of the box? Nice. We're scared. Yeah. Spam it over, lose it, run back. 100%, it bro. It's the team is the reason why Ericsson, the, bruv, they're talking about Casemiro's legs. It's a myth. Even bullshit. the Ericsson's legs, it's a myth, bro. Do you know what I mean? They're saying Ericsson can't run. Well, neither can KDB, blood. And he plays every week. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so all this <laughs> stuff about <laughs> man can't run, that don't make no sense. Put that man in the right team. A team that keeps the ball. Eric, Ericsson can play, bro. There's no issue with Ericsson being able to play. Not everyone on the pitch needs to be a runner, bro. There's different types of players, yeah? Exactly. With different systems, mm. bro. Like, and mm. you need different. Sometimes you need your guy that's just going to run. You need your bulldogs in midfield. And then you need your guys that can play football. Facts, bro. That's Ron is for everything, man. Look yeah, at the facts. Tummy. That's why. See, deserve if you deserve be Maynu, Ericsson, Mount, all yeah. of these type of players, Casemiro, Ahmed, yeah. Sancho. Balling. All these our players are not good enough, bro. Bro, allow it, yeah. man. Drop me out. Yeah, let's get let's get quick predictions in because obviously we're we're running out of time here. I'm going for two two. Runs, yeah. what are you going for? That's what I that's what I predicted as well. Um, I done a preview with Lewis two, two. and I predicted two all as well. So I'm gonna go for a score yeah. draw. But I did say don't be surprised if we lose. We ain't winning, yeah. I know that much. Mm. You know them ones, yeah, but yeah. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if we get cooked, bro, because Chelsea's attack here, yeah, like on any given day, yeah, their man can just do stuff. Mm, yeah, like, they've got better yeah. individuals. I'll take their attack ahead of us all day. All day. All I don't mind day. that Jackson, you know. That Jackson is all right. Bruv, Jackson, Whoa. Sterling, Palmer. Like, we, we, like, we ain't got yeah. that. Jackson might not be Jackson might not be a world beater, yeah, but what he gives you in terms of like I always say when things don't work out in your position as a number nine, try and get involved, man. And this guy gets involved, bro. He drifts yeah. to the left, he'll drift to the right, he'll yeah. com- he'll he'll combine with the wingers on both sides, he'll drop deep, like he gets busy in it, like Paul yeah. no did he. Like he'll do the work if he's not being served as a number he's nine. A Sean Paul, he's a Sean Paul still gets busy, man. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> hey, bro, and you know, he gives you an outlet, bro. You know yeah, that? yeah, exactly. So I, I might not be his biggest fan, but I'm, I'm a fan of what he does when he doesn't get his way. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Two, uh, I'll, I'll go two, uh, two one Chelsea, man. Two one Chelsea. Palmer's gonna score. Two one Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, big up, big up, wow, Ryan. Right, what are you saying? Before I even Two give one. my prediction, yeah, I want to give a shout out to Ty's fence, man. Like <laughs> this fence, yeah. You can't, you, you, know you can't you... buy this. You can't buy this on them B and Q no more. Do you know what's yeah. mad, yeah? What you're saying, you Splinters. Now, do you know what he said earlier? The cheek of Ty to say that we need our, our defense to improve. His fence needs to improve, bro. All that <laughs> leaning on that fence, yeah. <laughs> uh, your fence. <laughs> hey, I'm back, man. I'm back now. I'm back. I'm back. Hey, big up your fence, though. But yeah, draw as well, man. I see a draw. Wouldn't be surprised if I yeah. lost still. But if we lose, oh, yeah. please, man. Oh, yeah, apparently, both, apparently both are Fletcher's sons have signed professional contracts at the club. Okay. Ah, well, uh, bro, that's on stage, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's all right. Mean, he can retire players. now. You know, like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all right, this bro. Guy, this man, guy, I'm telling you. Man. He's done his job. Oh, He's done his job. Um, Leo, what are you saying, bro? I big up Nedu, man. Gifted the 10 memberships as well. But big up yeah. to you, Leo. What are you saying? Shout out, Nedu. I'm going one all. I'm going bag of missed chances. And then I think it's going to be, yeah. yeah, like a couple of go. And I think, yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be like one all. Yeah. Aaron, what are you saying, man? I'm going the same as, same as Leon, man. 1-0. I can't see it being a great game. Loads of missed chances on both sides. 
Um, a lot of um, misplaced passes in midfield. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not going to hope for, for a good game. So, yeah, one all. Yeah. I'm also, we said. 2-1 Chelsea, man. 2-1 Chelsea. 2-1 Chelsea. Jeez, man. Listen, people, I, I want to read it, a couple of super chats here. Um, Robert, you got me big up. Robert says, CFC eight a chaotic. Don't speak for us. Big up the man, them. Big up Izzy says, I'm a gooner, but I'm going to be a part-time United fan this week. Need you, man, to keep Chelsea in the mud and smoke Liverpool on Sunday. Big up to Ikevin, late member of the channel. Big up to you, Ikevin. Why can't he play Mount Eriksson Bruno with Hoyland? I big up to Nedu, man. He says, I just caught the, the live late. Big up the panel. Board fraud out. Martinez out. Bruno out. Luke Shaw out. Russ, Russ, <laughs> out. I said Mashman. No. <laughs> Russ, Russ, <laughs> crazy. Mashman out, man. It's crazy. Uh, Gifted 10 yeah, members as well. Big, big up to you. Big up, People across the 21 have got but, but he'll ball under De Zerbi. Yeah, Who's 21? Um, Anthony. Oh, Anthony. Anthony. Yeah, yeah, Anthony. Yeah, yeah. Right. Listen, we'll see. We'll see, man. But listen, people, man, what a show, man. We to, I think we hit 1K likes. If we could hit 1.5K, that would be amazing. Oh, you know what I mean? Like I said to you people, man, there's a poster out there. You know what I mean? Neji, you know what I mean? We need you back here. You know what I'm saying to you? Um, you're wanted. You know I'm saying? But we'll see you next week. Low blocks. We'll find out. We'll, you know what we'll do? We'll find out if the, if the, by the Liverpool game, if the lines have changed. So we'll find out. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. Hey, has he not been on since? No, he has. Yeah. No, he hasn't. He hasn't. He hasn't. He hasn't. He hasn't been here, bro. No, 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 he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't, man. So, he walks in on a plate. Maybe he walks in on a plate. Man, man, the FA sacked him, fam. Yeah, I'm going to win. Man, with the defensive, the the two lines of defense and that. You know what it is, yeah? Ready to go, yeah? We need to play the outro because we, like, you can't let a sickness just get out there in the fan base. We need to make people aware Yes, yes. Big up Ned do again just give you five more memberships, but listen, follow up everyone. Leon, I think man. Rand's we'll got to watch you. along later on. Uh, man City game, and obviously, just check out the man the minute everything that they're doing, yeah. support their channel. Me and Rand see the show as well before on this channel, so check it out. Leon, everyone, Rhino, he's got this show on tracks. Aaron's back on YouTube as well consistently, so make sure you follow him. Up, Leon's up, reality, everyone, support the man the minute. And like I said, man, we're gonna leave you with the video. This is madness. <laughs> this is a sickness. This is. This is what this is. That's what Eric Tenag fans are. They're vaccinated with the wrong vaccine, <laughs> and now the the, the the neurons in the brain are fried.